Skywatch Media News for July 19, 2019. Here's what's happening. Throughout much of the 21st century, the world has witnessed a dramatic increase in the frequency of volcanic unrest. The database chart established by the Smithsonian Institute on Global Volcanism shows the number of volcanoes with documented unrest since the beginning of this century. The green dots show areas with elevated unrest, while the red dots show volcanoes with ongoing eruptions. As of mid-July, the number of current ongoing eruptions reported by the Global Volcanism Program stands at 49. This is a much higher number of eruptions than normal. On average, there are around 20 volcanoes actively erupting at any given time around the world. One of the most explosive eruptions of this year took place earlier this month off the coast of Sicily, when the Stromboli volcano violently erupted with little warning, sending an enormous cloud of ash nearly 6,000 feet into the atmosphere and forcing lava across the slopes. Frightened tourists threw themselves into surrounding waters to escape flying debris. Just prior to the Stromboli eruption, a massive and incredibly powerful explosion of the Reykjavik volcano in the Kuril Islands took place. The volcano sat dormant for nearly a century, but on June 22nd, it awoke to a long eruption, consisting of nine explosions. The ash plumes containing large amounts of sulfur dioxide rose as high as 42,700 feet as the plumes drifted east and northeast. A before and after video of the island shows a place once full of flora, fauna, and marine mammals turned suddenly into a post-apocalyptic desert of ash.
A violent eruption of the Yabinas volcano in Peru on July 19th has led to the evacuation of many people living in the vicinity of the volcanic peak. The ash plume reached an altitude of 40,000 feet, affecting a radius of 16 miles. Residents of towns located in proximity to the volcano were provided masks and goggles to protect against the ash and the gases caused by the eruption. At this moment in time, our planet is coping with changes in the Earth's magnetic polarity, accompanied by the influx of cosmic radiation from deep space and the dramatic changes to our climate. These conditions, along with our sun's erratic behavior, are forces that spell eventual trouble for life on Earth. The worldly crisis that we may soon face compels us to look out to the universe for comfort and guidance, just as we did in our youth. For the stars and all things that dwell in the heavens can be of great benefit in alleviating the anxiety of our latter years. Thanks for watching.